Hey guys, I'm doing one more kata for the day. Uh, this one is find the parody outlier. So it says you are given an array which will have a length of at least three but could be very large containing integers. The array is either entirely compromised of odd integers or even ones, except for a single one n. Write a method that takes away the array, or so, sorry, takes the array as an argument and returns this outlier n. Alright, so um, there's probably a way shorter way of writing this. I'm pretty sure mine is more thorough though. So obviously this is all the code, but let's just kind of go through this step by step like usual. Alright. So we know there's going to be even and odd numbers. Based off that, we're going to know right off the bat we need arrays. So our even array. And our odd array. Now we're going to have to sort whatever is put in here and insert them into our two different arrays. So we're going to need a for loop. All right, and then we're just going to God, there we go. I plus plus. Okay. Jeez, what am I? <laughs> oh god, coding is great. I actually didn't mean to do the brackets. All right, so obviously we're going to be looping through as many times as the length of however long the integer's array is. So now we're going to go through our sorting. So again, there's probably a shorter, easier way to write this. I just think that mine's going to cover both negative and positive numbers. I saw a way shorter way. I don't think it did cover negative numbers though. So I'm just going to go for it. Um, so we're going to do if integers i and then we're going to use the modulo so this is a remainder function, so if x number modulo 2 equals 0 means that like um, if we have 4, right, 4 modulo 2 equals 0 because 2 goes into 4 2 times. But if we have 5 modulo 2, that's going to equal 1 because 2 will go into it 2 times with 1 remaining. Now the interesting thing is that if you do like negative 2 modulo 2 then what that is going to do is also come back as 0. So that's where we got to be careful. Um, but I believe mine covers that anyway. So anyway, so we're going to do if da 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 da, da equals zero. In this case, we're going to go ahead and do even dash push, which is just going to push whatever we put inside these parentheses into the even array, and we're just going to do integers i. All right. So now that we have that done, we're going to do an else if. And we're just going to switch it to 1. I mean, we don't really have to. I'm going to copy paste it just because it's a little bit faster for me. So I'm not really sure that this is necessary because everything 
will be divisible by one. So that's why I put it second, not first, because otherwise everything will just get caught under here. And then if that happens, we're just going to push it to odd. Then we're going to do another else if. This one's going to be for negative 2. So if the integer divided by negative 2 equals 0, then we are going to go ahead. There we go. And we're going to push it to even. And then all we're going to need after this uh, is an else statement. And we're going to push it to odd. All right, um, so I don't really know how well this handles negative numbers. I do know that it passed the um, the actual code wars tests, which is all I care about. So I'm sure there's a shorter way. I'm not sure. Well, I guess the test doesn't want to go through, but just to show you past solutions, it's the same exact thing right here. So it did pass. This is how you do it. Um, and that's pretty much it. So it's all pretty simple. All you need to do is break it down, even with like the little bit that I know about coding, using what I have in my tool belt. I was able to make this, which works. Uh, if we come over, let's see, here. Someone did this, see, very short, much shorter than mine. I mean, realistically, this is a, just a function. Uh, pretty much saying what I'm saying. It's just saying that the variable even, it's gonna throw whatever matches this filter under it. Now, filter, I believe, will automatically make a new array. Um, so in theory, I could have done this, but I never really worked with code like this, so I didn't really think about it. I did think it was a neat way of doing it. So you can see that, like, this is what I can do as a beginning coder. This is what someone who really knows what they're doing does. Um, not sure how this handles negatives. I'm honestly not even sure how mine does. I'm not sure if Code Wars put negatives through it. But just based off what I see here, and I could be wrong, I feel like mine would be better at handling negatives. but that very well could not be the case. Uh, so yeah, that's pretty much it. And I hope you guys have a great night because I'm all set today. This is my last kata. And hopefully you keep following along. Uh, eventually I'll go backwards and do some terminal commands and stuff with you guys uh, just so you can get the hang of that and kind of learn more of the basics.